you are good. We just lift him up this morning, God. We welcome you. We believe you are unstoppable. No one, no one can come against you, Lord.
sing out to him this morning. Just lift him up. against him. He's awesome. He's powerful. He's in control. The battle's been won already. No matter what battle you have right now, it's already won. His grace covers it. His blood covers it. His truth covers it. got open arms for you this morning. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Nothing can stop him from getting to you. Satan came to kill, steal, and destroy, but God has recovered it. He repairs. His grace is sufficient.
sometimes we say things that we're not very clear on. We just saying, you gave your life upon a cross to make your home within my heart. Some of us in here think that Jesus got really, really small so he could fit himself inside this little heart in here. <laughs> you're like, well, the heart's only like the size of a fist. I mean, it's Jesus, you got, Jesus, you're king of the universe. And you, you're like, oh, it's so sweet. You just got so little to make yourself live like right somewhere in this area. That's not, that's not what it means. I just feel like God's just, he always wants to give us permission to receive the truth. Some of us, it's so hard to receive the truth because we feel so bad about our lives. We don't feel we're worthy of hearing the truth and being set free. That's not the gospel. That's not Jesus saying that. It's, it's time for you to listen to another voice. Jesus doesn't speak the truth to you because you're worthy of it. He speaks the truth because it's who he is. And he'll never stop speaking the truth to you, ever. As many times as you fall, as many times as you get back up, as many times as you feel righteous and you're on a good track, man, it doesn't matter. Every single moment he's saying the truth, the truth, the truth. Why? It's who he is. Jesus is not a little Jesus. He's not a little God who placed himself like a little Lego character in your heart. He's the God of creation who has made a home inside of you. He's a big, big God. He's massive. But somehow, that's the miracle of salvation. It's the miracle of God coming to the earth and becoming man. It's that he would actually make a way for a God to live inside of humans. That we would become the righteousness of God. That you would become a carrier of God's presence. That you would be a person who's marked by truth in everything. That's a good life. A life of freedom, a life free of slavery, free of sin, free from hopelessness, free from joylessness, a life free in God. It's not a little Jesus. He's a massive, eternal, infinite Jesus. Can you receive that this morning? Everyone say, I receive it. Come on. He's made a home inside of you and he's dominating everything on the inside of you for your benefit and for Christ's glory. It's so that you could gain everything Jesus paid for you to have. I just felt like, man, we, little G, he's not little Jesus. Oh, he's big. He's really big. And what he's done is by filling you, he's united you with heaven. How does that work? I don't really know. But it's awesome. I live it every day. So he's put heaven inside of you, Jesus. And so this thing all around God's eternal kingdom is not like far off now up there and it's some reality in the future. It's now, right now inside of you. That's Jesus making his home in your heart. You guys tracking with me? Okay, come on. Let's give it up for Jesus. If you know who he is. Father, we just say, we just say, God, we want, we want more. We want more, God. I want more. I want understanding, God, from you. I want intimacy, Jesus. I want to be set free by you, Jesus, this morning in truth. You always come in truth. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful you're big enough for everything. All the celebrations, all the victories, God, all the joy in every trial, you're good enough for it. Father, we worship you and we welcome you to continue speaking as you always do. In Jesus' name, let's worship some more.
The Spirit is here. The Spirit's inside you. proclamation right now before the Lord. Father, greater are you that are in me. Greater is Jesus that is in me than the little God, that little Satan that's in the world. And as he tries to trip us and make us fall, try to kill us and disrupt us, greater is he, Jesus. So Father, we just recognize that greater are you. Greater is your power in me in us as we the church as me as an individual greater are you than all the temptation in the world than all the sin in the world that all that's before me and we hold on to that this morning proclaiming who we are in you that I am a child of God I am a child of God I'm a member of his kingship so father we just recognize this morning who we are in you and Lord, we just say this morning, continue Holy Spirit to work in our hearts, to work in our lives, to maybe some this morning, Lord, need, need you to reach down into our heart and give us a heart massage. Maybe some need to pump life into it, Lord. Maybe some of it just needs a deep healing. But Father, you know each and every individual here. And I pray anointing upon them this morning, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would come Lord, the train of your robe would fill this temple to overflowing, that your presence would be just continued to be among us. We thank you, Father, that you're not a little G, that you're not a little, little person, but you're big. You're so big, and we recognize your bigness today. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.